Welcome to Auto Guild. Have you ever wondered what LS cylinder head is best for your car? I have too, and I was surprised to learn that there are actually 20 different LS cylinder heads, which at first sounded complicated to me, but after many hours of research, I discovered that these 20 heads can easily be broken down into eight families, which I'm about to explain. And of these eight families, there are really only four that you need to care about for your build. I'll also show you which cylinder head code came on every single LS engine, then I'll show you which of these heads have the biggest valves, the best combustion chamber, which ones are keepers, and which ones to avoid. We'll get into what fits your car too, and at the end I'm going to rank them all on a 5 point scale. You will not find a detailed list like this anywhere else on the internet, I promise. If you've seen my other videos then you know what's coming. So, if you're new to the LS engines, this is what the code looks like. It's a 3 digit code. Sometimes it's 4 digits. If it's 4, just ignore the first number and use the last 3. It's found on the top corner of the cylinder head on both heads. It's not on the valve cover. Okay, most people know that LS has three port types, but did you know that cathedral port does not mean Gen 3 only? But all Gen 3 engines are cathedral, and the Gen 4 engine used both cathedral port heads and rectangular port heads. That's right, even up until the very last years of the LS engine, the cathedral heads were still being used on truck engines. The newest and most modern heads, known as the rec port heads or rectangular port heads, are only used on Gen 4. Let's do a quick refresher. The LS and its cathedral heads were introduced with the LS engine launch in the 1997 C5 Corvette. The middle head here, the raised rectangle, was on the 2006 Corvette Z06. It was only used on the LS7 Z06 engine and only for a few years. The rectangle head was launched 10 years after the cathedral head on the all new 2007 Escalade. Yes, they flow better than the Cathedral, we'll get to that. The Cathedral port design is generally noted for better low end torque, while the rec port heads are generally known for better mid range and top end power. And stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you CFM, that's cubic feet per minute flow numbers for all 20 heads. Okay, I mentioned that the 20 different LS engine heads can be broken down into eight different head type families. Let's go through them. Number one, the LS1 head. As you can see, there are four head codes associated with this family of heads, 806, 933, 241, and 853. The first LS1 head was revolutionary at launch, but these heads are somewhat outdated compared to newer LS heads. Still, the worst LS cylinder head flows better than the best factory Gen 1 or Gen 2 small block Chevy head. In stock trim, these four LS1 code heads can flow 240 cubic feet per minute, which is plenty of airflow to support more than 450 horsepower. The second family of LS heads are the LS2 and LS6 family. Launched in 2001, these heads have two codes, 243 and 799. They are an improved version of the LS1 cylinder head. Originally designed for the LS6, GM started putting them on practically everything in 2007, including even on 4.8 engines and the front wheel drive LS4 engine. CFM increased from 240 in the LS1 heads to 260 in these new heads. The improvement is mostly seen at higher RPM and higher lift, and professionally ported versions of these heads can flow up to 350 CFM. The 799 code is exactly the same as the 243 code. This is likely the best Gen 3 head. The third head group is the iron heads. These are found on only the LQ4 in only 1999 and 2000. They are heavy, an extra 30 pounds each or 60 pounds total on your engine. This head family has the largest combustion chamber size of all LS heads, and that means lower compression. We'll get to that in a minute. Pretty much any head is better than these. Remember, iron won't dissipate heat as well as aluminum, which means timing advancement will be limited. And iron is more likely to have hot spots and experience detonation. So why on earth did GM put cast iron heads on the six liter LQ4 in 99 and 2000 only? If anyone knows, please post a comment. Maybe aluminum prices had gone up that year? I don't know. I will soon launch a free spreadsheet with all this information, as well as a poster of this info if you want to put it up in your shop or garage. This will be available over at autoguild.com starting in January of 2024. Next up, the small valve heads. Small valve? Boy, this is America. We don't want anything small. Next slide. Wait, wait, wait. These heads can, and do, often make more power than other heads. Allow me to explain. Yes, the valves are smaller. They have a 10% smaller intake valve area than the other Gen 3 heads. Here's the thing though, these heads have the smallest combustion chamber of all the LS cylinder heads. And over and over, these heads have performed on the dyno and consistently beat other LS heads. 
you see compression ratio has more impact than valve diameter. And remember, the only the intake valve is smaller. So most people tend to pay a grip of money for 243 heads when these would make as much or maybe even more power than what's on their engine now. Some builders will even recommend these for any 48, 53, or 6 liter build. Don't believe me? I've included a link below to a Motor Trend article where Richard Holdner, the GOAT of LS engine testing, tests these heads against many others. You can probably even find someone to give you their small valve heads for free and you can have free horsepower. Oh, one more thing. If you like this kind of detailed info, this is where you click thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribing is free, you just need a Google account. There's a great comparison of the small valve head on the next head family. Let's keep going. There is one simple rule to remember about the 317 and 035 heads that come on the LQ4 and LQ9. Unless you have an LQ4 or LQ9, do not put LQ4 or LQ9 heads on your engine. That's because the LQ4 LQ9 is the opposite of the small valve head. It has a super large combustion chamber, the largest of any LS head. Larger is always better, right? No, larger means less compression inside the cylinder. It has a combustion chamber volume of 71 cc's, 10 cc's more than the small valve head. LQ4 head versus small valve head means a drop in compression of 1.2, essentially going from a respectable 9.5 to 1 compression ratio to a 1981 smog era gas crisis 8.3 to 1. And remember, one point of compression ratio equals 4% gain or loss of horsepower. On a 450 horsepower engine, Motor Trend saw a loss of 35 horsepower when removing small valve heads for these heads. When turboing that same engine, they lost 16 horsepower. Don't throw out those small valve heads, they perform. Some turbo guys insist on running these larger LQ4, LQ9 combustion chamber heads to get lower compression, but with computer controlled engines, you don't really need to. Just use the head you already have for your turbo. The turbo is going to blast right past whatever valves you have. The LS7 heads. Like the 4th gen L92 LS3 heads, these heads have a rectangular port design, but these ports are a bit wider and shorter than the L92 rec port heads. We'll get to those next. This new head has a more straight through airflow design and utilizes larger 260cc intake ports. These heads will flow 360 CFM. Remember, the original LS1 heads flow 240. Of course, flow is not everything, but it does give you an idea of how these heads have evolved. Also unique to the 452 head is that it's CNC ported at the factory, a pretty rare thing. These heads won't really fit your engine and are crazy expensive. These heads are no longer available new, and at the time of this video, these heads are going for $2,000 to $2,500 on eBay. Many people call these the LS3 heads, but they actually launched first on the 2007 Cadillac Escalade as the L92 head. So L92 and LS3 heads move to a rectangular port and are the best LS heads because they have huge flow and are relatively easy to find. These heads were slowly moved over and added to MIDI models, the Camaro, Corvette, high-end trucks and SUVs, the CTS, and even the Pontiac G8 GT. GM increased the port volume for these heads and even had to move the intake pushrod over to the side to do it. They also changed the height of the port and tweaked the valve angle to 11 degrees, eliminating the cathedral point port's sharp turn problem. This means incoming air had a straighter path, a huge benefit at high RPM. Ported L92 LS3 heads can perform as well as the LS7s as they are pretty similar in design. Finally, you cannot use the L92 LS3 heads on a LS1, LS6, or any truck 4.8 or 5.3 that has less than a 4 inch bore. These heads require a 4 inch bore. So any 6.0 or 6.2 is fine. But you likely don't need them unless you're planning big power or high RPM as all LS heads are amazingly good. Launched first on the 2008 CTS-V in the 556 horsepower supercharged LSA engine, these heads are mostly the same specs as the L92 LS3 heads. But these heads, of course, are for supercharged engines and are made of a stronger Rotocast A356 T6 alloy. The 771 heads for the LS9 use titanium intake valves like the LS7. That was on the 09 to 13 Corvette ZR1. These are crazy hard to find, insane expensive, but luckily you don't need them. Okay, we've talked about the 20 cylinder head types or codes, the eight LS cylinder head families, but all LS heads have only four different valve size combinations. Of course, AutoGuild has broken these all down for you to help make sense of all this. I've made the valve size here to scale so you can see the differences in size are pretty minimal. 
Remember, some valve sizes cannot even be used on some engines because the bore size is too small and the valves will actually hit the block. I'm currently working on a cylinder head compatibility video, so please subscribe if you are interested in that. If this is getting too confusing, I have the rankings and the summary at the end of the video. Let's keep going. LS cylinder head chamber volumes come in six different sizes. Really pay attention to the chamber volume in orange here. As mentioned, a lower chamber volume increases compression ratio. A smaller chamber means the air and fuel is compressed into a smaller space, creating more potential for power. Okay, here's the spreadsheet and the rankings. Starting in January of 2024, I will have this as a poster and a free downloadable ebook of the entire presentation at autoguild.com. Once available, the link will also be in the description below. This is only a partial list. I couldn't fit all the details here. Go to the site for the full spreadsheet. Note that I've put chamber volume before valve size because clearly it's more important at maximizing power. Also, I've given the LQ heads a two here. That's because of their large combustion chambers. If you're using them on an LQ engine, they're fine. It's a 3.5. As promised, here are the four cylinder head families you should focus on. The ones in blue are the ones you want. 13 codes in total. Just remember to check that the L92 LS3 codes will fit your application. Be sure to check out my other videos, which are also insanely detailed and organized. And please consider subscribing. It's free and all you need is a Google or Gmail account. Thank you for watching AutoGuild and good luck with your project.